Hi guys, today I want to review this uh, my still design book from William T. Seagull. Um, I had this book for a bunch of years, I got it in college for a class. It's a really good reference for a lot of like uh, typical subjects, uh, compression members, beam, uh, column design, beam columns, simple connections, girders, uh, eccentric connections and composite construction. It's very very nice, like it has a lot of really good examples. Uh, I have this one and a reinforced concrete book and those are my go-to books when I don't know how to design some stuff. Uh, some, these are not super in-depth, they are more like college level courses, but they are really good reference when you need a reminder for something and when you want to, to have a quick how-to on something that you don't remember. You will not find like super in-depth information in expanded subjects like press press or I don't know, like some more advanced concept like <coughs> like moment frames or stuff like that but you will find a very good basics and fundamentals for everything steel design has really nice steel theory too it has a lot of like how to and why a lot of things in steel are, are done the way they are uh, I even have a bunch of tabs here for quick reference that some stuff that I want that I usually use like for beam, beam column design and it tells you like like the, the code check like I mean if you have the steel code you can also go for that but a lot of times it's good to have this as a reference for examples and stuff like that. Uh, simple connections, shear strength in walls. Like I said this book is not mandatory like uh, you could probably just have a steel code and like be good be be good with it. But I like this just having more options uh, for design and a lot of times it's easier to use uh, have books that are like this because it's very simple, you just go there and read it, it's not very, the lingo is easier to understand. Um, it's a really good book, I would recommend getting it. Other editions are cheaper, you should spend more than $30, $40 for them. And a lot of school use this book, I don't know if they're still using it, but I mean, it's a really good introductory, introductory book for steel design. Alright.